Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales is the fifth and possibly final installment of Disney's swashbuckling high seas adventure starring Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow. And like most of the pirate films prior, there is a post credit scene at the very end of the credits. Now, if you clicked on this video expecting to see the actual scene from the cinema, well, abandon all hope ye who enter here. Be it a movie about pirates, it does not mean that I will be committing piracy by uploading pirated footage landing me with a heavy fine that'll cost me an arm or a leg. Pirate puns! Instead, I'll assume either you've left the theater early and wish to have a detailed accounting of this scene you missed, or you want to find out what exactly this scene means for the future of the Pirates of the Caribbean cinematic franchise. So keep in mind, everything ye be hearing from here now does contain major movie ruining spoilers to the ending of Dead Men Tell No Tales, as well as the post credit scene, so you've been warned. So the post credit scene takes place where the end of Dead Men Tell No Tales leaves off. William Turner's son Henry has broken his father's curse of the Flying Dutchman, allowing him to now be with his love Elizabeth Swan, played by Kira Knightley. The scene starts at night as the camera pans to a sleeping Will and Elizabeth, and their bedroom door slowly creaks open to reveal the silhouette of possibly the former captain of the Flying Dutchman, Davy Jones. As the silhouette does show the outline of his head with his hat on, as well as some of his tentacles reaching out, and the final shot of him is the camera panning to reveal Davy Jones' claw as the thunder strikes in the background. At this point, Will Turner awakes from what we assume is just a nightmare from the life he once lived aboard the Dutchman, as he then kisses Elizabeth and goes back to sleep. But, the camera pans under their bed to reveal a few loose barnacles and seawater, possibly a sign that Davy Jones lives once again. So what does this all mean? After all, Disney had teased this film in their trailers as being the final adventure, so why leave fans with a post credit scene if there's no promise of a sequel? So let's look at the pirate lore of Davy Jones and the Flying Dutchman. Most of the information comes from Pirates 2 and 3, Dead Man's Chest, and At World's End. Very briefly, the Flying Dutchman ship was given to Davy Jones by his love Calypso, who gave Jones the duty of ferrying the souls who died at sea into the next world. And every 10 years, Jones would come ashore to be with his love Calypso. But when Davy Jones came ashore, Calypso was nowhere to be found. This ultimately resulted in Jones cutting out his own heart so he could no longer feel the heartache of love lost, and then he locked it in the dead man's chest. At the end of Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, Will Turner stabs the heart of Davy Jones with the assistance of Jack Sparrow in order to gain Davy Jones' eternal life. Will's father, Bootstrap Bill Turner, then says the Dutchman must have a captain as he cuts out his own son's heart, and then places that into the dead man's chest. The last we see of Davy Jones is him falling into the storm, never to be seen again. No doubt asking the question of, is there any chance that Davy Jones could still be alive? Since Will Turner's curse is broken, who's the captain of the Flying Dutchman now? And will there be any more Pirates of the Caribbean sequels, prequels, or even a reboot in the future? So here's what we know as fact. Disney originally planned to have two more films following On Stranger Tides, making the Pirates of the Caribbean film saga two trilogies. And on March 4th, 2017, in an interview, director Joaquin Roning stated that Dead Men Tell No Tales was the beginning of the final adventure, implying that it would not be the last film of the franchise. So while this film is the final adventure, it is merely part one of the two-part finale. So here's my thoughts on how I think the story will play out. A lot of curses were broken when Henry, Captain Salazar, and Jack Sparrow broke the Trident of Poseidon. And while a Dutchman always needs a captain, the easy answer would have been that bootstrap Bill Turner would take the position. But what if by breaking Will Turner's curse, it also broke Davy Jones's curse, and has brought him back to life to retake control of the Flying Dutchman and retake control of the seas? Okay, but was Davy Jones actually cursed? Jones was given eternal life by his love, the sea goddess Calypso, and could only set foot on land every 10 years to see her. Which to me sounds like a curse because I would want to live forever, especially if I'm going to look like this. So this is just speculation, but it seems to be the direction Disney is going with this post credit scene. But while I don't believe it would make for the most exciting conclusion to this franchise, to just bring somebody like Davy Jones back to be the main villain, I'm sure they'll bring in other pirates for their final film. Perhaps Captain Morgan? No, not that Captain Morgan. Although, technically, yes. Captain Henry Morgan, that is, is the most famous buccaneer of pirate lore, and as such a rich backstory, is just someone who I personally would like to see. But as for now, Disney has not leaked any info on a sequel, but as soon as they do, I'll be sure to let you all know here first. Anyway, that's everything I have for the post credit scene and future of the Pirates of the Caribbean Cinematic Universe Explained. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe below, and tell me your thoughts on the film. And if you think Davy Jones has truly been brought back to life, 
and if there are any other characters from pirate lore you would like to see in the sixth film. And don't forget, as always, as Five Fingers explains everything with the Thingabang Show, it's a pirate's life for me.